I love the old saying of be open minded, but don't be so open minded that your that brain, your brain falls, falls out. out. Yeah, yep. yeah, it's absolutely right. I love that saying because I mean, yeah, you, you do got to be careful. But like I said, I love it whenever there's a little bit of truth, and, and I do love stuff that we can't understand. Like whenever it comes to like spirits, ghosts, other dimensions, that stuff that science has caught up with it a little bit to study but we're, we still got a little bit of a ways to go, but there, there's still so much mystery in that, that it's still kind of a who knows scenario. It well, makes I me mean, think of, you know, uh, one of my favorite, like parallel odd, you know, conspiracies, consistencies, inconsistency. I don't know exactly, but um, Alistair Crowley, his, you know, his, um, what was it? His guardian angel. Mm -hmm. He drew it on his deathbed. What'd it look like? gray alien yep it's crazy well it's, it's i read a i read a quote the other day that said something along the lines of uh today's science would have been yesterday's magic you know like yeah things that we know today if you if you mention it or talked about it or or produced it in the 1800s 1700s you would have been locked away or burned at the stake you know like yeah it's true it's just yeah, it, it's just there's things out there that we don't understand yet, and and I think that's that's what we have to get. And I'm sure there's things out there that we're not supposed to ever understand. You know, like <laughs> we probably never will, but it's fun to try. <laughs> I guess yeah. is what I'm going for. Do you uh do y'all believe in like ghosts, spirits? You know, in another another world, another dimension. Yeah, I believe I believe in ghosts for sure. Um, from personal experiences um other dimensions yeah the science is leaning that way isn't it like yeah. is, isn't that what we're we're looking at now and uh, uh what that means i don't know i and even when i try to read the science i'm just like what is this talking about i don't like, yeah they use no way clue. too many big words i try to read yeah, it, read about sorry. it too i'm like <laughs> I, it's kind of like on the office explain this to me like i'm five <laughs> exactly and, and just like quantum physics and all this i mean it sounds great <laughs> like, i'm sure it, i'm sure it's awesome but i don't know i mean i think that that stuff is out there um i'm a little i'm a little iffy on aliens you know like i i i think this i think this universe is just way too big to say that we're the only living yeah. you know stuff out there uh, whether that's you know bacteria sized stuff or or full grown you know alien entities, I'm not sure. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I but ghosts. Yeah, I've I've experienced stuff that led me down that path. So, what about you, Gertie? I believe in all of it. I'm open minded. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 how uh, Ellie? You just mentioned that you had an experience there. Have y'all both had kind of a another? Like, like a ghost spirit type experience in your life? Tell him the story, Gertie. Well, the, well I don't even know if that's what it was, but it was very odd. I, I mean, but it's we, an experience, though. <laughs> years ago, we traveled to Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Yeah. And uh, we were doing a uh, a tour. It was a guided tour. It was an overnight thing. And uh, I was kind of hanging back in a room, taking some pictures course you have the tour guide and then you have the guy that in the back of the tour group that kind of shuffles everybody along so you don't get lost of mm -hmm. course and um Elliot and that guy were talking and I was kind of hanging out in the room taking some pictures and I turn around and across the hallway from me is this um stairway that's got the door shut but it's an old door and the glass is broken out and I look through it and I see a uh, older man I see white hair the back of his head and he disappears around the corner inside the stairwell and i'm like oh is there people over here so i kind of catch up with them like is there a person supposed to be here other than us like what what's the deal here and they're like no there should be nobody else on this floor i'm like is there somebody else like checking stuff out like in the stairwells or no there shouldn't be i can check but i don't think there is I'm like well i just saw a man walk around <laughs> in the stairwell this was in the daylight so whoa but uh and of course, there are the plasters falling off the ceiling, and you make a sound if you, you know, early yeah. step, you, you crack and crunch, and 
shuffle your feet. Did you kind of have like hear anything? A, did you have like a like? Did it give you a feeling, some type of energy? Did you feel any type of vibe from like that the room that he was in, or just being near that? More just confusion, I guess, at the time. You know, just just feeling just odd, and then just like, did I see that? You know, and then I yeah. don't know if it's a, like a you know, mechanism for my brain to try to, you know, self-preservation to be like, was that it? I don't think that's anything. That's not anything. That's mm. just, that's just compartmentalized. She, she always, <laughs> she always leaves out the fact that later on the tour guide described that same person as something that people see in the, in the building. They said it could overnight. be, there was, a, there was a homeless gentleman that unfortunately passed away with his dog inside mm. that people think they see. So they're like, maybe it was him. I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> I just wonder why, like, I, I mean, I, I don't dismiss it because I, I'm the same way. I'm open-minded. Like, I, I hate how people can just jump straight to the conclusion of that's not real because y you don't know. Like, people have been proven wrong over and over again throughout history. Just because there's something that we can't explain right now doesn't necessarily mean that it's not real, you know. So, so, so I don't put i don't i don't put it past ghosts being real i just wonder like why they stick around i mean they've been talked about for thousands of years now people having some type of paranormal experience but i just wonder what keeps that energy or that spirit here on earth i just that that's the one part that i can't understand whenever it comes to ghosts and, that, and that's yeah i, I agree with that you. poetic that's, like unfinished business thing but you know that's not everybody that can't be every yeah every and, encounter but even then like, like, it, like some kind of a, a, a record that's playing over and over again that you just wrote somehow you know that's that, what that's, uh yeah, Ellie, is that li limestone and stuff like that which you know yeah, in Kentucky, we have, yeah we have a lot of deposits around here that's I mean, my theory a lot of, a lot is, of the problems <laughs> I, I think I think ghosts are one of two things. I think it's um, a residual haunting, like one of the things where you just see things over and over again, you know, like you don't really interact, but you can see it happening. Mm -hmm. Or it's some kind of demonic entity, you know, like I, I don't really know how else to explain that. Something well, you that subscribe to that if it's intelligent, you feel like it may be demonic, right? Yeah, yeah I feel like, yeah, because... If it's answering you and trying to get you to do things or yeah, yeah. interacting I, more than just that type the, of underplay and way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's my theory on it. But I mean, of course, I'm probably wrong, you know. And uh I mean, like really, who knows? Because like that's one of the ultimate guessing games right there that science has not caught up with. That's why the whole theory of ghosts has always intrigued me, because that's something we still can't explain but as you were talking about earlier you know the, the science is kind of going towards that hey other dimensions might exist and to me that would be what would open up the door for spirits and ghosts to exist if, if other dimensions exist i don't know I, i'm too stupid to understand it but maybe I, I don't know if there's other dimensions there has to be something in it you would think right and like that, you know, <clears throat> I have a friend that is online that has a uh, big theory about that's why it's so hard to find uh, Bigfoot or, you know, all these cryptids is maybe they're not here. They're just when you see them, they're visiting and mm. there's some kind of way that they go back and forth between the dimensions. Is that possible? I don't know. I, you know, I'm not a scientist. Uh, I, and even if I was, I, I probably wouldn't be researching Bigfoot physics, but all I'm saying is that, you know, that is out there and that's, that's a possibility. And I think we're way too quick to dismiss stuff like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. 